to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, today we come up with the Elliot Wave analysis of gold and silver. Uh, I have uh, the pattern in, st in front of me and we can clearly see that this is an expanded flat correction. Now uh, there is more data definitely I'm only uh, showing you this because this is what I think is happening on, uh, on the chart. Let's have a look at uh, the larger time frame data. So here, here's the data that we are seeing. We have seen a correction right over here. Uh, I do understand that we were expecting for the bearish move to happen. Instead, we have seen a correction move another correction. So I can tell you now that the correction is complete. The price is not expected to go beyond 1981 on the downside. I'm expecting 1981 will hold and the price is expected to carry on. Now these combination, this correction and correction right after that of a, a smaller period of time is a very important pattern that I have uh, discussed in past as well. So this pattern is indicating that we are actually looking for a longer term move uh, probably of a similar, uh, of somewhat similar uh, you know uh, length as this one right over here. Not exactly here we went from 1803 uh, right to the top around uh, 2008 so about $200, I would say someone uh, approximation of $200. That could mean $250 uh, easily. That could easily mean $250. So we are looking for a stronger move on the upside. The pattern seems to be complete in gold and that turns that we are bullish on gold and we are ready for the jump up next one. Let's. We have seen a similar pattern right over. In case you are wondering for the the smaller time frame analysis. This is what uh, I'm looking at is, all right. I think that B has completed right over here, and then we have wave one and two right over here, wave three and wave four right over here, and this hole as being wave five. I do think that we have seen the bottom right over here. However, let's say the price drops a bit below. I'm not expecting for the price to go beyond 1981. So 1981 should be used. Uh, uh, any value beyond below 1981 should be used as a stop loss area, and not exactly this point. But I am long on the on the chart. The studies that I done on WD GAN angles also indicating that we were expecting a low to happen today. It did not happen on April 7th. We were expecting it to happen on Friday, April 7th. But today, April 14th, the Friday is expected. Uh, I did some recalculation and and then found out that my calculation was wrong uh, earlier. So this means that we have found a, a, a bottom or we are very close to finding a bottom because the trading day is still left but 1981 is expected to hold and you're expecting for the prices to go upward. Let's have a look at, sim uh, st uh, at silver as well. Silver has fallen sharply. The structure that we can see right from over here is a little different from the, uh, the structure that we have in gold in terms of time. Like this structure started late uh, right over here we can consumably call it the wave A right now and we can call it wave B right over here and we have a 5 wave structure on the downside. That's indicating that we have probably seen a bottom already formed uh, in within uh, silver as well. So that means that we are expected to see prices upward and once again what we can use in terms of stop loss and this is once again is advisable to put a stop loss a little farther away because this is the next important level that we have which is 2485. So I would expect for the prices not to go beyond below 2485. I'm expecting for the price to continue on and give us some good bullish move uh, probably of a similar strength that we have seen earlier. We can go back and see 4 hours start and we can see that this strength is happening. So we can probably see uh, a move of equivalent size right over here. Once again this move that you're expecting did not happen. Instead we have seen a correction move another correction this one right over here. So what we can match right over here we can definitely take this size and we can increase uh, add it on on top of this one giving an indication the next target. And that's the ref target. That's not exactly the target. That's going to be the ref target. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye bye.